I met my brother Ross when I was three years old. Growing up, Ross was the cute one, the athletic one, the popular one. But he was also my best friend from the day I met him. And from the day my dad married his mom, I never thought of him as anything but my brother, and I loved him. When he was diagnosed with brain cancer, I decided to document his survival. This should have been the end of the movie. Instead, it's the beginning. So this is Ross Patterson. He's just received a penis reduction. I gave three inches to a needy kid in China. And uh, and I'm reading Highlights magazine. Who is the asshole who always circles shit in fucking Highlights? I want to find the rake in the cloud. I want to find the baseball bat inside the tree nut. <laughs> you loved Highlights when we were kids. Hey, Ross. Oh, doctor's here. Sorry for the rage. When an oncologist brings a therapy dog to a patient consultation, it's a pretty good bet that he's not delivering good news. Hi. Um. Yeah. Would, would you mind putting that thing away and shutting it off? Because we're good. Uh, because of the HIPAA laws, I have to have you document and say that. So if it's all right with you, it's fine with me. This has been going on for two and a half years. I think okay. we're fine. We got the results back from your PET scan. And um, here's where we stand. Unfortunately, the tumor is growing more rapidly than we anticipated. As a matter of fact, we're at levels we haven't seen in over a year. Wait, so what are you saying? Uh, we're not able to control this with chemotherapy. In addition, it's metastasized. What that means is we found traces of the cancer in your bone marrow, in your liver, and in your pancreas. Uh, considering your heart condition, I think more chemotherapy is way too risky. We do have other options. What are my other options? Um, okay, all right, so you need to understand that this is not a cure, but I think that we can significantly stop the aggression of this tumor with radiation therapy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going back to chemo, all right? I'm, I'm not, I'm not it's getting- not, It's not chemo, it's radiation. I'm not getting radiation again. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie here in, in a fucking bed. I'm not gonna shave my head again. I'm not gonna be pricked with needles so you guys can, you don't fucking understand. You have a choice and you may not wanna do this, but I think that it would significantly shrink the damage is being done by Whoa. this disease right now. Okay, when you say significantly shrink, what are we talking about? Like in terms of a timeline, what are you saying? Like how much? What is this gonna give him? What's... At the rate of progression now, without immediate intervention, we're looking at one to three months. However, with radiation and drug therapy, we can probably extend that to a period of six months to a year. Six months to a year, man. Yeah, I'm, that... not, I'm not going through it. Look, I, I understand. I'm not going through six months of fucking radiation and therapy again, all right? I'm not going through it. You need to give this some time. I think you need to think about the choice you want to make and think about what you want to do with the time you have left. I'm sorry. No, it's... Okay. I think um, I would brought the therapy dog or else I'd be a mess right now. I have to take Beans back. I promised that I would take him to the children's ward with me. Are you, are you kidding? You just gave me the worst news of my life? You told me I'm going to die and you want the dog? Fuck you. Ross kept the therapy dog. At the time, I was working as a wedding videographer, riding the bubble of California's gay wedding boom. But on the weekends, Ross and my supernaturally photogenic fiance, Lauren, helped me indulge my artistic ambitions. 
shooting Tarantino-esque vignettes full of violence and subtle references to the masterpieces of cinema. But when Ross got sick, I realized I had the chance to make something personal, something meaningful and true. This is what that turned into. What'd they give you? Axis, perk, Valium. Nice. Yeah, it's a real silver lining in all yeah. this. You want some? No, I was shooting. Oh, well, let's, let's turn this around. Mm. There we go, Seth, how does it feel? Do something interesting because this is gonna be for cutaways. Okay. Is, your, is that your phone again? Yeah, who is it? Uh, I'm sure it's Lauren. Oh no, it's weird, it's Lauren. Hey, dinner is almost ready. We need to go food shopping. I know. What are you filming? The Ross documentary. When is this hawk? Okay, put the camera down. So what do you want to do? I have $618 in checking. Fuck. I don't know, maybe I can buy a, a skim board, a new skim board. I have, I have 50K. Yeah. You I have $50,000 in my savings. You have 50,000 for your wedding. Yeah. So I don't care, it's not for my wedding. So we'll spend it on fucking amazing adventure. Lauren will cut off your balls if you spend that wedding she money. She won't cut off my balls. Yes, she will. No, she'll cut off maybe one ball, one and a half. He wants to go out with a bang. He wants to do a road trip across the country with me. You know, just, wild, crazy times okay. at the end. Um, he doesn't have any money. Hmm. We have $50,000. That's for our wedding. So when are you going to tell mom and dad? I'm not going to tell mom and dad. Why not? Because they would fly me home, stare at me like I was fucking E.T. for 30 days. I mean, would you want to know if your kids were going to die? Are we still going to have a wedding? Yeah, of course we're going to have a wedding, baby. The point is... He wants to do this road trip, and he, he wants me to film it. I'm going with you. If you're going to blow all of our savings, I'm going with you guys. Let's make a list. That's fine. We'll make a list. I, first thing I would do is I would fuck a hooker. You would fuck a hooker? I would fuck a hooker. Do you want to stick around for how much more interesting that's going to get? You know, it's funny because I actually think that if one of those Make-A-Wish kids actually said when the cameras weren't rolling said what they want to do they would want to fuck a hooker they would want they would not Jenna jameson to whack them off yes. while licking their balls they would not want to throw footballs with tim tebow no. i was committed to capturing all of ross's experiences on camera and as a lifelong consumer of video pornography i yearned for the opportunity to shoot what academics in the field term hot amateur action i'm just gonna wait out here for Hello. Hi. Are you? La you must be Lamborghini. Yeah, I'm Lamborghini. Hi. I'm um, Italian, so. Um, what's with the video camera? Nothing. I'm sorry. I'm just. Yeah, you didn't say anything of... about videotaping, so we just. Sorry. Yeah. Totally sorry. No, no problem. Um, it's so off. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um, so, uh, is it for you or? What? It's for you or? Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not the customer. It's okay. my, it's, it's someone else. It's, he's in there. It's my he's brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what uh, do I, yeah, I have, I the, I have the money. Yeah, yeah. I have the money. So, it's, um, it's 200 or so? Uh, it's three. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, uh, can we do it? Let's do it inside. Oh my God. Bow, no. Chicka, bow, bow. Uh, no, just stop. Um, what is he doing? Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. Is it really? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Everything's gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. 
Thanks. Chamberlain Lamborghini. Do you think my name's really Lamborghini? <laughs> no. What is it? It's Carly. Yeah, I was gonna go with Ford Fiesta, but I didn't know if that was sexy enough. People weren't really responding to it. You know, you're actually very funny. I have my moments. So I just paid $300 for my brother to cry in the lap of a prostitute. Is that on? on? Yeah. I'm shooting everything now. I'm not putting the camera down for the rest of his life. Okay. Well, I don't everything. need to be in it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. What's up? Nothing. Lauren's getting ready to go. So I just thought I'd wake you up. How are we gonna line the streets for a parade for her? <laughs> what fucking time is it? Uh, I don't know. What time is it? It's quarter to nine in the AM. I feel like death. Pun intended. There she Good is. Morning. There she is. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about your news. It's fine. I just, uh, let's not give all the quotes in a brochure. Let's just not think about it. Okay. What's this? That is the list. Bucket list? Yep. What's this one that's crossed out? Fuck a hooker. Uh, I actually changed my mind last night. Did you really? Seth? What? Sorry, Seth. That's okay. I was thinking you were going to empty your balls, but you emptied your heart, and that was special. I'm a little bit confused, but I feel like we're just going to look at the list. <laughs> um, quit my job, yep. which is going to be like a piece of cake. Not only a piece of cake, but something I'm really going to take pride in. As you can probably tell from my demeanor, this will be my last tour of Hollywood. Fuck you, Hollywood fun tours. I've been in competition with you for years. You having a good time today? Where are you from? Asia? I love it there. I love it there. There is a place on Melrose. It's a flip over place where they only do fronts. If you give an extra $20, I'd say what me and you after this whole shit is over, let's go together. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we have a rare treat today. That's Courtney Cox's landscaper. These are the real celebrities, people. Go skydiving? Yep, we booked it. Wednesday. I don't know. We booked Wednesday. it already. I don't Wednesday know if I afternoon. Can, I don't know if I can do it. Van Nuys. You don't have to do it. Okay. Um, see the Grand Canyon? Oh my God, I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Really? Uh huh. Never. I, would, I didn't know I'm, that. That's well, amazing. I, I'm, it's, I'm sure it's going to be. But why do you keep looking at him as if you're gonna go on the trip with us? I, I thought I was she, going. I told you she's going. You didn't tell me she's going. She, you said she was going skydiving. She's no. not going on the entire trip. You know what, if, if, if we're gonna couple up then, then I'm gonna take the call girl. You can't bring a hooker with us on a- Why can't I bring a hooker with us? She's really cool. Please don't bring a prostitute on this trip. Why not? Because it's just nasty. Baby, he's joking. No, no, oh, I, no, Seth, I'm not joking. If you guys are going together, then I'm gonna bring a fucking call girl. Please don't. Why? They're just like a porn movie every day. <laughs> Fall in love and get married. What, with the hooker? Okay, no, that one I was kidding about. Like, obviously, I'm not, I'm dying in a fucking month. Yeah, I'm gonna get married and start a 401k and have some grandkids. Maybe even settle down, Midwest. I'm kidding, I didn't have any more space to fill on that thing. Maybe, what? please, please be nicer to him. I am trying, but not a prostitute. I, and you're you like, know, yeah, I think that's a good idea. That's so annoying. All rules so are annoying. off. Oh. All rules are off. He's dying. Yeah, I did forget to put something on my bucket list. It's McGriddles. If you could grab maybe four of those and some hash browns, that'd be awesome. They're not, I mean, I will have to do it after work. Just something. bring it back at lunch. So anyways, Seth is coming, who you met. His fiance Lauren is coming. And the reason why I brought you here is I was wondering if you would want to go to. On the road trip? Yes. With you guys? With all of us. And maybe a couple of camera crew guys. 
They're going to shoot a documentary, the last three days of my life, whatever. What's in it for me? Uh, I don't know, five grand? Ten grand. I pull like two grand a week, and you're going to be taking me away from that. Look, I'll tell you this. I'll give you five grand now, and then when I die, you know, my car. Your car? Yes. What kind of car is that? Jesus, it's a 2002 Chevy Tahoe. It's got a Spanish language GPS in it. You can, that's just you, you're gonna have it. If I did this, which I'm not saying that I'm going to, there would have to be rules. But like the, there's like a hooker handbook? There's like a rule book to Yeah, this like stuff? a hooker handbook. You haven't seen Pretty Woman? Please. Tell me you've seen Pretty Woman I've, and don't be an asshole about I've it. I've seen Pretty Woman. Okay, so you know. Rule number one, no kissing on the lips. If you want to kiss anywhere else, that's your deal. And number two, I get paid up front. All right, fine. If you're having rules, then I have rules. Oh, yeah, like what? Like, no talking about death or dying or disease or anything like that. I already know what's in store for me, so I don't want to keep rehashing it every single day, okay? Um, I'm going to lose my vision. Pretend I'm drunk. I'm going to lose my balance. Pretend I'm drunk. I'm going to vomit, like, a lot. Pretend you're drunk. Exactly. Easy. For the next four to six weeks, or however long it is I have on this earth, your job is to make me feel as normal as possible. You in? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Why was I filming our journey? Was I trying to preserve every last second of Ross's life? Or by making a movie, was I pretending that what was happening wasn't real? So your, uh, your girl over there, man, what's your name? Carly? Carly, yeah, she, uh, she paid for it, right? Yeah, what, what do you mean? You know what I mean, man, a little crew, good time fun. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Seth, really? Who's that? That's, uh, that's Dutch. He's doing, uh, sound for us. How much does he cost? Not very much. Hey, baby, I want to introduce you to Carly. I don't want to meet her. You're going to have to meet her. We're going to be on the month. We're going to be on the month. Later. When? Carly! Yeah? Hey, I want you to meet Lauren, my fiancé. Hi. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Really great shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Did, did you make it? No, I modified it. Smart. Yeah. I like your shirt, too. Thank you. It's really nautical. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. How's it going, Jado? Who, who's this? That's Jado. He's, uh, you've actually met him before. You met him at Barbara and George Dozen's wedding. How much does he cost? Baby, why are you so concerned with how much everything costs? Oh, I just want to know how much is left. Be plenty left. Hey, let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Okay. All right, you guys are going in that car. We're going to take the van. Okay. We're right behind you. Milady, your chariots. Sir? What? Her shirt is. She modified it.
That was amazing. Oh. <laughs> I wish you had gone. I'm sorry, I was scared. It's okay. Okay. It's okay to be scared. Okay? Once. You get one pass. Mm -hmm. Alright? Next time we do something like this, you have to join us. Okay. Alright? Okay. Love. Okay. So you're not gonna say anything? Like, what? I don't know. I mean, we just jumped out of a fucking plane. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, it's crazy. I, it seemed crazy to you. You were just fixing your hair for the last 15 minutes since we, since we left. No, it was, fun. it was fun. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say. You know, you can have a good time on this if you want. It's, like, it's just weird. Like, I just... What's weird about it? I don't, I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel bad for you. You don't feel bad for me because I'm dying? Not really, you make it kind of hard. How do I make it kind of hard? You kind of come off as an asshole. Like, you don't seem like you're dying, you don't seem like you care about any of the things that like, you should care about when you're dying like you just want to spend your brother's money and pay me to like come along with you and make sure that you have fun it's just it's weird I'm sorry for me I would probably I'd want to hang out with like my family as much as I could if I could I am hanging out with my family friends look I'm just not that close to a lot of people it's just weird what about you? Why do you do what you do? It doesn't make sense. It's just a job. I know, yeah, it's, it's just a all job. All, all of this is just a job. It's not, but it's not like there's no weird explanation or something like, it's just a service that I provide and I'm fucking good at it. It's, I moved out to LA to be an actress. And that's what I do. You know, it's just my audience is one person or two or three. Is this three? It depends. Um, it seems excessive. Look, it's not all pathetic, you know? Like, I get something out of it. I lose myself in the role, I lose myself in someone else's fantasy, and it's... So are you doing that right now with me? No. I'm not doing that with you right now. I'm... I'm actually talking to you like a real person, and that feels... feels right. Our sound guy, Dutch, had a friend from the service who sold mushrooms in a trailer park near Joshua Tree. I was excited to meet a friend of Dutch's. Snappy dresser. Get ill. America shields that millions for retarded rappers, actors, stealing, willing and dealing. I'm about to make my killing. I've never taken mushrooms before. Am I going to freak out? You freak out. <laughs> like you're going to freak out a little bit. Have you ever freaked out? Yeah, of course I freaked out. Have you ever freaked out? I freaked out once, but that's because I couldn't stop puking. I freaked out once too, but I was with my dad and I was 
12. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not sure we need to hear that story. <laughs> Where did that <laughs> creepy story come from? <laughs> Look, Lauren, Actually, just take them. I'm a sick kid. This is my dying wish that for you to take mushrooms with us. Okay, fine, uh, fine, 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 fine. fine. Uh, What the fuck did you just do? Oh Baby, did you just take all of them? You just ate the entire bag. Just eat that whole thing. <laughs> hey, it's okay, I got more in the pan. I'll go get it. <laughs> oh my I was God. so fucked. What do you mean? You just ate an entire bag of mushrooms. <laughs> How's it going in there with her? It's not going anywhere. Oh. She just said, you know the rules, and stormed off. Where are you going? Oh. Ross was just freaking me out a little bit. Why? Because he's like trying to get all mushy and shit. Why don't you like mushy? Because it's not real. It's bullshit. Oh, you can't kiss? Yeah, we can't kiss. We can't. Can you, can you butt fuck? <laughs> yeah, apparently you can butt fuck or you can go down on people. So, but you would, can't. Why would you want to kiss if butt fucking is like on the menu? You're like, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm full. I'm just going to have an appetizer. Because I like her. I like her. So you you show her that you like her. I just did. Fucking her butt. I tried to have a nice romantic I'm sorry, man. I'm thing in the tent, <laughs> tripping our faces off, and that went nowhere. He doesn't know me. I don't know him. You know, like, I don't want to pretend that just because he's dying that we're, like, soulmates. Like, I'm working a job. Wow. You're what? really cold. It just comes with the territory. If you went to heaven and God was like, hey, guess what? Astrology is real. That shit is all for fucking real. Every horoscope you read, completely 100% real. Yeah. I know that's a Capricorn thing to say, but I think... <laughs> like, WWE wrestling, all real. Oh, pro wrestling, yeah. Yeah, pro wrestling, Iron Sheik, every move he did, fucking real, dude. Athletes. Yes. The truth is, we were only comfortable speculating about the afterlife in jest. Ross seemed to be averse to introspection because it slowed down the adventure. But he was changing. Can I can I interview you real quick? Yeah, Did, I'll go get me teeth so, though. You know, yeah, I, I'm at home this. now. I yeah. don't go out without teeth. <laughs> no, it's okay. Right. It's just back in a minute. Yeah, let him get his teeth. Okay. okay. Uh, his own uh, teeth out. Oh. I have them on a necklace. Oh, Why? Can you wear? You don't have the necklace, do you? Yeah, I do. It's got a tiger's tooth and about six of his teeth. Teeth as well. That he uh, pulled himself. Because when you live in the outback of Australia, you do not have oh. access to dentists. To dentists, right? Yeah. Oh. yeah. So where do you believe we'll go? After we exit this this life, for me, I won't go anywhere. You won't go anywhere. You'll no. stay. Your spirit will stay here. Or? No, the body will drop, and I'll go back in the transcendent where I came from. Do you? So let me ask you. But do you retain consciousness in the void? No. Nothing. No, there's consciousness mm -hmm. and there's pure awareness. Then there's the void. Once you go in the void, you don't exist as a name, shape, and form. Then. So basically, we just we just die, and then that's it. it your, but if your body dies, your world dies, right? Right. Your world is born, and it can also die. And once you find something inside yourself that never changes, then you found the truth, right? 
Yeah. And it's inside you and it's inside your friends, it's inside everyone. Yeah, I, I never really thought of it like that. What the guru said might have been profound, might have been nonsense, but there was no arguing with the fact that he had some fucking badass face tattoos. What would you get? I would get a tattoo of my dick, but like a bigger version of it tattooed on my dick. What happened? Or I could get abs. <laughs> I'd actually appreciate that. <laughs> Ross decided he wanted to get a tattoo of the state of Georgia. Yeah, this is what I want. That's where Ross was born, and he also once fucked a chick named Georgia, so double meaning. Is it okay? That is fucking dope, Graham. That is fucking awesome, man. That is great work. Glad you like it. Well, I can't wait. I'm about to say this. Uh, is there anything that you want me to get? Uh, Asian writing. You want to get Asian writing, like Mugu Gai Pan, or like no, a, no, like a menu? No, literally just Asian writing. The words. The words On Asian writing. Oh my god. Let's do it. <gasps> You're welcome, Ross. I'm gonna get you some change. Okay, perfect. Be right back. Sounds good. Serious? Say it exactly like Val Kilmer. Really? What's your problem, Kazansky? You're everybody's problem. It's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. I don't like you because you're dangerous. Oh, that's right. Ice. Man. I am dangerous. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's go fly some mix. Okay. Was it fun? It's fucking amazing. <laughs> How's everything going with Lamborghini? Great. Lamborghini cool. is great. Cool. You guys are spending a lot of solo time together. Ooh, are you jealous? I'm not jealous. I just didn't, you know, I thought this trip was going to be about you and me. I didn't think. Yeah, I mean, you brought Lauren along, like. Yeah, I know, but that's different because it's our wedding money that we're spending, so I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, well, I mean, you said 90% of it was yours, 10% was hers. She's done about 10% of the trip, so you could send her home if you wanted to. Do you not want her with us? Why don't no, you send look, Lamborghini home? I like Lauren. Why don't Lauren. you send Lamborghini I like, I, I, Look, here's the thing, I'm having a blast as the four of us, so I don't, I don't understand why you're so jealous. <laughs> I'm not jealous, I just... Look, we coupled up and I'm having, I'm having fun. I am genuinely having okay. fun, Seth. Okay. Thank you. So how I'm you... serious, I'm having fun in this. Great, I'm having fun too. I, I just think it's... Uh, your relationship with Lamborghini is interesting. I just don't know what's... I mean, do you like her? Seriously. Carly. Your relationship with Carly is interesting. My relationship with Carly is interesting. Yeah. Yes, what? I really like her. You really like her? Yes. I think she is awesome. She is funny and smart and cool and 
Now I'm getting embarrassed being on camera. Okay. But that's cool, man. I no, just, look, uh, hey, I'm sorry if you felt left out. Let me make it up to you. What do you want to do? What do you mean? Like, what would you want to do if you could write something down on my bucket list? I won't tell Lauren. It'll just be for you. It'll be something that you and I have that nobody else has. What would you want to do? I got something. All right. You like it? Can you help me get in the back? I don't know. All of a sudden, I feel like I have so much pity for so many fools. Do you know what I mean? That wasn't even on his list. I know. Ross, that was something you wanted to do. Ross wanted me to do it. Part of what he wants is for me to do what I want to do. What else do you want to do? I don't know. Do you still want to get married? Of course I still want to get married. Baby, I love you. I still want to get married. But I need you to just kind of be there for me through this experience. You know, could you just do that? If your sister was going through what Ross is going through, I would be there for you 100%. If my sister was dying, I wouldn't pay for her to sleep with a hooker and get tattoos. Well, your sister and Ross are very different. But I'm sure whatever your sister wanted to do, you would support her, and I would just be there for you 100%. This is very hard for me. You know, I don't know I don't know what to do in this situation. All I know is that whatever Ross needs, I'm going to do. And I don't have any leftover mental energy to do relationship maintenance on us. Oh, you get it. I get it. <laughs> for the Grand Canyon. including the Grand Canyon itself, seem to be in a conspiracy of silence about Ross's real condition. But sometimes, in quiet moments, Ross knew he was dying. It's crazy, right? Huge. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, no, I believe you, totally. You're a horrible liar. <laughs> I mean, sorry, it's a good thing. You just, you suck at it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just, I'm just annoyed. And me? No. That's Seth, he's just acting differently. I hate the sight of him. Yeah. I never like when the brothers get together. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, it's like Ross, um, like, instigates and... Yeah, it feeds the beast. Yeah. But, you know, he's gonna be dead soon, so... 
god. That's horrible. But it's true, you know? Like, you can just check that off the list of shit that's gonna fuck with your marriage. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that was good, though. Yeah. It was funny. It is really deep and big. <laughs> <laughs> Texas, you get let off with one morning. The second time you mess with Texas, obviously you get raped. I'm booking a job for one in the back. You look really sweaty. What are all these people doing here? Every night at sundown, people gather around here to watch 10,000 bats fly out from underneath that bridge. It's like a town tradition. Where are they going? Back to Transylvania. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you something? Mm hmm? Are you scared? Bats? No. No. I'm dying. You remember our rules. Let's just forget the rules, okay? Really? Because we're gonna we're gonna forget the rules and we're gonna forget all. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah? Yes, fine. Okay. Are you scared of dying? No, not really. It's strange. I think the thing that I'm most scared about is not leaving anything behind. You know, no kids, no wife, no legacy, things like that. No, but what about this? Like, your family and friends are gonna have something to remember you by forever. Not everybody gets that, you know, like a, a good memory of people before they die. People are gonna watch this, they're gonna know that you were loved and that you're happy and at peace. As far as not leaving behind a wife, that's not true either. If you'll marry me, <laughs> come on, from your fuck it list, fall in love, get married, Lauren showed me. Look, as sweet as this is, I appreciate it. You don't have to do this. I was joking about that. Were you really joking, though? You know what? No, I wasn't. So? Look, throw the money thing out the window for a second. Do you even like me? Forget that I'm paying you. Do you, Carly, even really like me? Because honestly, I, I can't figure it out. Yes, I do. And if you haven't figured that out, then there's something else wrong with you besides the tumor. So let's do this the right way then. <laughs> Carly Sarah Stoops, will you marry me? Oh, yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> and it, it fits perfect. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you know what it is? 
Memories. Memories. This is an amazing night and a great engagement. And thank you, Seth, for paying for everything. It's us. It's both of us. And Lauren. Thank and you. Lauren. And Lauren. So and Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. I want to just say I'm not losing a brother. Well, I guess I should. <laughs> I'm, I'm gaining a sister. I'm gaining a sister. I'm gaining a sister. <laughs> Like this is like weird. This is like some weird like alternate universe. And I love you too. Who's she always on the phone with? I had to answer. Who was calling? Was it your mommy? Yes, it was my mom. to death. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Get <laughs> okay, out. Get out. we got... Look what daddy got. Okay. World Series. I am totally amped about this. <laughs> yeah, you seem like it. Right <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, you, 
you can kidnap a lot? Some. Just feeling really tired and weak. Truthfully, I just want to lay down and fucking die. We gotta finish the movie, okay? We will finish the movie. I just want you to do everything you want to do. I want you to finish your list. We will. Where's Lauren? between you guys? Yeah. Let's go. So we backtracked 1,500 miles to Vegas so that Carly and Ross could finally consecrate their love according to the traditions of our religion. We worship Satan. I'd seen Ross with a lot of girls before, but I'd never really seen him in love. I hardly recognized him. Do you think I'm crazy for marrying Ross? No, you're doing your job. It's just, I don't know, it's not really like that anymore. Really? I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. You're falling for him? Yeah. You don't want to? No, I don't want to. Lauren, he's dying. Are you serious? I know. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll just I'll see him through it, right? What am I supposed to do? I love him. I love the asshole. Fuck. Fuck. <sighs> that looks awful. It looks so bad. <laughs> what do you do? I mean, is it... It literally, it fe it's like your fingers are like... Bro they're all broken. Or they're rubber. <laughs> like, they don't have any bones in them. Seth, you are in rare form today. Oh, God, help me. Hey, that smelled good. Promise to always love her tender, never leave her heartbreak hotel, and always be her hunk of hunk of burning love. I do. There you go. So death to you part, honey. I do. We do have something called the criminality rights here. Just, what is that? It just takes a second. Oh, 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 hey, hey, hey.
awesome. She's an awesome person. I'm a piece of shit. I'm serious. I'm a piece of shit, and she's awesome. You're not a piece yeah. of shit. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> you're you fucking awesome. You're too much to drink. Bitch, yeah. you're awesome. <laughs> 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 Stop New Orleans. Awesome. That's gonna be my last stop. What are you talking about? Why? You well, don't want me going along. Of course I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No. This whole thing is like an excuse for you to get out of marrying me, and it's pathetic. Is that what you think? <sighs> Look, you proposed to me. I didn't force you to. And if you don't want to get married, it's fine. Do you want to get married? If I do or not, I don't like seeing the side of you. What side of me? You're using Ross. You're turning his death into your little project. You're so fucking wrong. This is his idea. Really? Yeah, he's the Are one. Are you sure? He wanted to do this. Because I seem to recall when we first started planning our wedding that you said that you'd rather spend the money on making a movie. I was kidding. Really? Because that's what we're doing right now. What a crazy coincidence. I mean, is Ross even sick? Looks fine. Fuck you. I wanted to stay out. I wanted to go home. Ross handed me the keys. How had it come to this? Am I, am I provoking her? Is I that... think you're provoking her. The next day, she was gone. I wanted to talk to Ross, but how could I burden him with my problems when his were so much heavier? How's it going? Oh, look at your little doggy. How you doing? What's wrong? You okay? Oh, shit, man. Halfway through Arkansas, the pain got so bad that Ross checked himself into the emergency room overnight to get more pills and a much needed sponge bath. How's he doing? <laughs> Better now. His dick was really dirty. <laughs> Is that elephant tusk? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think a cane would be better or a walker? You? Really? 
I don't know, man. It's up to you. How do you feel? I'm fucking can't. I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life on a goddamn walker. I know, but is it gonna work? Is it gonna be enough? Because I'm getting wasted, so I won't be able to help you. <laughs> really? Really? In this time? I'm just joking. Let's get this one. The pimpy one? All right. Hey, Ross. I should get you some... Depends. Some diapers. That's cool. Will you get them for me? I don't want to buy those. Okay. <laughs> All right, first one to piss themselves wins. Got it. I'm peeing right now. No, <laughs> you aren't. I am. You are? Oh, I don't know. I'm peeing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Is it working? Is it holding it? I feel like I'm peeing all over the bed. <laughs> You might be. I hope I'm not. Oh. Does that mean the game That is felt over? really. Yeah, I won. <laughs> that felt really weird. I feel like I'm sitting in my pee. Touch, why do you keep staring at me like I'm on toddlers and tiaras? Oh, are you like. Is this a thing for you? Nice, eh? Yeah. Pretty fucking cool. Should we wake up Ross? No, let's let him sleep. Okay. Seth, I think... I think we should take him to a doctor. No, I think he's been to enough doctors at this point. Well... I've been doing some research, and... I have this friend who's a radiology oncologist or whatever, and he was talking to me about this experimental treatment that they're doing with stem cells, and I feel like maybe like Ross could be eligible for that. And look, they just talk. Look, or... listen, listen. Ross isn't going back into the hospital. He's already made up his mind about that. All right? Just what if he changed his mind, you know? Like, if we just take him back to L.A. We're not going back to L.A. I've got something awesome planned for us in Ohio. It's part of his list. Just what if we both talk to him and tell him what it is and see if he wants to try it? Listen, Carly, no offense. Don't take this personally. But for the last two years, me and Ross have tried every fucking treatment available to mankind. All right? Do you get that? Everything. And all of a sudden, a this? prostitute... Listen, you come along, a prostitute, right? who's known Ross for two weeks, and you've got some former John with some life-saving experimental treatment you want him to roll the dice on. No, like, look, no thank you. We're gonna take a pass on that, all right? We hired you to do a job, to keep Ross happy. Do you get that? This is not gonna keep Ross happy. So do your fucking job, okay, or go home. Let's go check out the fucking view. Created Facebook. Those Winklevi are some strong rowers. I want you to do something for me. Sure. After you die, I want you to let me know if there's anything afterwards, okay? Okay. Just I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a pottery class. But when I'm spinning the clay, I want you to come up behind me and I want you to I want to feel you inside me. I just want to know that, want to know that you're there. You want me to sway to you? I want you to sway to me. <laughs> Could you do that for me? Could you do yeah. that? Yeah, I'll sway to you. You sway to me? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're having this big heart to heart, brother to brother. We moment, are. And then you ask me to sway to you. I'm very serious about that. Uh, yeah, I, I'm serious when I'm saying yes. I will. Uh, you will be my demi-man. <laughs> Fucking dick. 
Come on, man. Let's go. Put your arm. All right, let's go. Welcome, welcome, everybody. You're probably wondering, who the fuck am I? I? I'm just a guy who really loves his brother and wanted to throw him one last big fuck it all party. Let me introduce to you guys my brother Ross. Thank you. I can't believe you did this for me. I love you, brother. Tonight, get weird. Fuck a stranger. Don't drink responsibly. Don't do the walk of shame, because it's not the walk of shame if you have a clean pair of panties in your purse and you're not ashamed about it. I know you're not. I know you're not. And without further ado, please welcome Mr. I Love College himself. Asher Rock. Let's go, baby. tell you a story or two um yeah of course i learned some rules like don't pass out with your shoes on and don't leave the house till the booze gone and don't have sex if she's too gone when it comes to condoms put two on then tomorrow night find a new joy hold the beer bong nothing wrong with some fun even if you did get a little bit too drunk that party last night was all But after crazy. that, yeah, I wish you'd take it. You know what's going I wish down. You'd take it. I lost my ass off and had Three this one girl completely naked. Drink my there. beer and smoke You're all my invited. Weed. But my good friends Bring is your friends. all I need. Pass Bring out your three. Wake up at ten. Go out to eat. Then do it again. Shout out to that motherfucker Ross. Fucking Ross is dying and he came here tonight to hang out with you guys. Just let it be known, man. I love you, motherfuckers, all right? What's going on, Carly? You okay? Yeah, fuck him. Why? Fuck him. Why? He says all this fucking shit. But do you think that maybe that has to do with his tumor? He's confused. He's got a fucking brain tumor. You expect him to just be like normal Ross. I'm not expecting him to be anything. It's gonna get worse. Are you gonna stick around when it gets worse? Do you have a lighter? See, this is what it means to be in it for the long haul, Carly. No, I don't have a lighter. Are you serious? You don't have a lighter? No. Do you guys have a lighter? Does anyone have a lighter? Jesus Christ! What's wrong? You know that guy, the doctor, yeah. the client, or whatever. What about him? I called him a couple days ago. Why? Why would you call Just him? Listen, I was talking to him about you. And so I told him about your diagnosis, and he was saying that you might be able to do this 
clinical trial that he's working on. Jesus and I guess they Christ. use like stem cells from aborted fetuses or something. I'm not putting a fucking aborted fetus inside my Can brain. Can you just listen to me for a second, please? He sounded like really positive, like it, like it could work. We talked about this at the, the, the very beginning. I don't want to go back to a doctor. I don't want to go back to a fucking hospital. Now you're bringing it up? I'm fucking shitting myself. I can't barely walk. I can't see out of my eye. And now, oh, hey, let's try it now. Now that I'm all fucked up, let's try this now. Awesome. Is he going to bring my you know fucking what? eyesight back? I fucking back? understand why you've never been in love. Because you're a fucking selfish asshole. And you don't give a fuck about me or your family or your brother. What? You just, you can't do this to me. I'm not going to fucking do it. Hey. Look, I'm sorry, all right? Okay. I know you felt like that. I don't know. Let's go. Look, I'll get the treatment, all right? What do you mean? Do the fucking treatment. I'll do it. Just being an asshole. Try it. Yeah. I love you. In five days, we would fly back to Los Angeles to begin experimental stem cell therapy. Ross was weak, but hopeful. As Ross began consulting on the phone with his team of doctors in Los Angeles, I felt a mixture of hope, relief, and a new kind of sadness that I was struggling to understand. All of these people, all of these patients are still alive. What are you guys doing? What are you looking at? The, the clinical trial stuff? Yeah. I just want to know what I'm getting into, you know? What are the side effects? Usual. Fatigue. Hair loss. Chocolate penis. <laughs> the huge. Chocolate penis? Mm-hmm. I'm happy about it. <laughs> she loves chocolate. It's a win-win. What about you? What do you mean? What are you gonna do when I'm all better? I'm gonna fucking celebrate. I'm gonna drink a fucking gallon of hobo's blood and just walk the streets in my nudity. Are you capable of having a serious conversation? Uh, I can try. Why? I feel like you guys are about to do an intervention on me. I'm just wondering. No, I mean, look, I love you. And you've been awesome to me for the last two and a half years for going through all this shit with me and documenting it, and I get all of it, but what the fuck has happened to you? What do you mean? I mean, look, look at yourself. Okay. Look at this guy in the fucking mirror. Okay. What do you see there? I see David Schwimmer with a mohawk. <laughs> like the like the love child of Bette Midler and David Schwimmer. Look, you can get yeah. around all you want, and you know that I love you, and I think you're fucking hilarious. But truthfully, that's a guy who's lost right there. You lost Lauren. You lost your fiance. Jesus Christ! You lost most of your hair <laughs> with a razor, and you just keep joking around about it. It seems like when I got sick, you started drinking. You started getting more out of control and living like it was your last day on Earth. Yeah. Now you don't have Lauren. You don't have a fiancé. You're getting fucked up all the time. What's, what's going to happen? 
either this works and I live and I go on and live my life with, with her, what life do you go back to? Who do you go home to at night? Because eventually this is going to end one way or another. Like, either I'm going to die or I'm going to live. But the party's got to fucking stop at some point. When the party was over, what would I be left with? And what would I be left without? We're engaged! <laughs> this is like hours later. <laughs> We've had a lot of steak, <laughs> a lot of wine, and Florence has treated but us We wanted very to tell well. you, all of you, all of you, that we love our public. Our public. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. Love you! So what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Seth just proposed to me in Florence, and I thought that he was absolutely 100,000 million percent not. I cannot even, I can, I'm really surprised. Like, I still have to sit down. I have not gotten up from this chair. This is where it happened. We kneel down. We're in Florence. He was sitting here, he looked really scared, and I did not know why. Um, okay, should we reenact it for them? Okay. <laughs> no. No. Okay. okay. So with the last of our wedding money, I flew down to Maryland and went to Lauren's parents' house to make a grand gesture in a rented tuxedo and a white horse. Lauren! Lauren! Seth, what are you doing on a horse? Is Lauren home? I don't think she wants to see you right now. Her parents told me that she didn't want to see me, but I insisted. And she finally came outside so that I could make my case. I told her that I knew I'd been an asshole. I'd made her feel like an outsider. It was all my fault, and there was no excuse I could make that would justify my behavior but it was up to her to decide if she could forgive me. At the end of the day, I think the horse and the outfit did most of the work. Later that afternoon, Lauren and I flew back to New York together to meet up with Ross and Carly. Baby. Yeah? Everyone's gonna be nice. I know, we'll go, we'll go. Let's just take our time. So we're making our way back? Sure. Oh, my foot. Make our way back. Everyone's leaving. I know. Hold on one second. I think my... What are you doing? I think my one of my laces might have come undone. No. Is it, is it all right? Okay. I think it's what okay. What are you doing? No, I was just checking my What's lace. Hey, baby. I, uh, I wanted to tell you, I'm so, uh, I'm so sorry for what happened when we were in, uh... Las Vegas, and when you gave the ring back to me, it was like the worst day of my life. But uh, I want to tell you that oh I love you so God. much. What are you doing? And, uh, what are you doing? I want, I want you back, and I want to do it for real this time. So I want you to tell. Oh my I want, God! Oh my God! Basically. Oh my God! What are you doing? Oh basically. My... <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> oh my god! What's all going on? Oh my god. So, what do you say? You yeah. to, yes? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank oh, you. thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> With two days left before his treatment was scheduled to begin, Ross decided it was finally time to go home.
Hey, Mom! Hi! Mom, Sandra. This is Carly. Nice to meet you. So how long have you known Ross? Um, like, like a month or two. A month or two? Mm -hmm. Well, you Not seem long. happy. You seem like a cute couple. Yeah, we are. Can I tell you something? Do I want to know? We're married. Get out. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yeah, Yay. seriously. <laughs> you heard the good news. Yeah, what a surprise. Yeah. Uh, I really don't know what to say. Uh, you and your brother kept this from me? Yes, we did because we knew you'd freak out. Okay, so you've got that right. I am freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pregnant by any chance? No. 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 Wait. There was oh, a right. night in Austin where we... Uh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't want to know that one. <laughs> totally kidding. Yeah. I don't... Don't want to know no. that one? No. Okay. Um, you can say I know. congratulations. Uh, Seth, well, she is not stoked. Yeah. Was, <laughs> I think the congratulations needs to wait a little bit. And that. So, what are you shooting here? It's like, a, it's our wedding video. The wedding video. Yeah. Okay. Do you think maybe you would have let your dad and I know about it? Uh, it was a very spontaneous thing. I guess. Yeah. Okay. In Vegas. Oh, okay. We should show her the pictures. Yeah, we should. And I would love to show you those pictures, but right now... I am exhausted, and I just need to go lie down for a minute. Uh, but please know, I am in love with this girl, and she is fantastic. And I will be happy to tell you the entire story after I get up. All right, we'll go lie down, and uh, she and I will sit and talk for a while. <laughs> oh. Oh. Seth, okay. do you want to tell her what that voice means? Or? <laughs> yeah. I'm super tired, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, wow, I'm wait fine. till your dad hears this. Oh. I, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so what the fuck's going on? He looks awful. I just, um... He's, he's we've just been, been like, drinking and uh, traveling and stuff. This is a long time on the road. He hurt his leg. It's not a big deal. All right. Yeah. Well, then, we'll let him get some rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll cook out some steaks and then, yeah, and then, you know, we'll just hang yeah. out a little bit. How the two of you meet anyway? Let's talk a little bit. Uh, we actually, Seth introduced us. I introduced them. Okay, how did you meet her, Seth? Uh, at the store? We're at the bar. The bar? At Tim's bar. At Tim's bar. So, yeah, she was, uh, she was there with some of her friends. It was weird because she had just gotten back from a deep sea dive and she was still uh, feeling the effects of the oxygen deprivation, so I think Ross appeared to her as a as a catch. And uh, when she recovered from the uh, oxygen deficiency, it was too late. Seth is telling a bullshit story of how we met, which is awesome. Like the oxygen deficiency, and See, we were deep this is why I won't scuba dive because you know that shit will <laughs> mess up your mind. <laughs> Back home grilling steaks in the cold with dad with lauren in love with me again ross and carly happy hopeful mom laughing i wanted to hold on to this moment forever that was why i think ross never told them how sick he was he didn't want to ruin any more of their days than he had to i'll take both sides too oh you will <laughs> Stop filming. Guys, yeah. you have to stop filming. What? You need to stop filming. Why? The light is amazing right yeah, now. Yeah, you have to stop. Can you just stop, please? This is my favorite place in the entire world. 
better than the Grand Canyon, Vegas, and Niagara Falls. I don't think there's anything better than just being home with your family, you know? I haven't had that in a lot of years. Where are they? They're all dead. My dad killed my mom and my sister and himself. Jesus Christ, Carly, I'm so sorry. He tried to kill me too, but I ran away. How old were you? Thirteen. My sister was fifteen. Well, you are part of the family now, Mrs. Patterson. So they're your family too. I'm really tired. I just need to go home and rest. This was the last shot I got of Ross on camera. In the end, the stem cell treatment didn't work. I wanted to turn his death into something else. A work of art an experiment in cinema, a consolation. Instead, it became this artifact, and I'm still digging through it, trying to find my brother, trying to find myself. Started with a dream, I thought I heard you calling. If I heard a scream, I swear the sky was roaring. You said I The one for me, yeah, I'm just lonely for you. You say I Flies above my door 